Yo, what's good? It's your boy bike with another video today i finally got my hands on the ipad pro so i have been testing this thing out uh, shout out to my cousin uh, this is his ipad he let me borrow it for about two days for this review and we are going to be comparing it with the samsung tab s7 plus now let's start off with the screen ipad pro 12.9 inch screen apple is labeling this the liquid retina xda whatever that means now when you look at the s7 plus screen it has a 12.4 inch screen samsung has branded it um amoled amoled display but to the naked eye i really couldn't tell the difference uh between the two screens maybe you know i i couldn't really say whether the ipad has more pixels or the s7 plus has more pixels i really couldn't tell uh the difference now let's get back to the ipad pro on this version it has a two terabyte hard drive and of course the m1 chip that everybody has been raving and hooping and hollering about and the second iteration of the apple pencil now if you want to buy this version this version will cost you about twenty one hundred dollars or even more that's a lot of money especially if you're just using this thing strictly for drawing now let's talk about some of the storage options and the price of the Samsung Tab S7 Plus. Uh, as far as storage, it has 128 gigs of storage. It goes all the way up to 512 gigabytes, but it does have a micro SD card slot, so you can boost that up. And when you look at the price right now, you can get the S7 Plus on Amazon for about $700 dollars regular price eight hundred dollars so you can you can get a good deal and that's for the um, 128 gig version now let's talk about the drawing experience my experience drawing on the ipad pro now like i mentioned before the the screen the resolution it's all there also i do like the squared off shape of the ipad pro versus the s7's rectangle shape and so it it gives the ipad pro about an inch about an inch or so more screen real estate and so i really like that that's really nice samsung i hope y'all taking notes on the screen the apple pencil really kind of surprised me because if you look at the nib uh the nib is very hard it has no type of give to it if you look at traditionally if you look at drawing styluses uh they always have a, a give to it, a, a bounce to it, to where when when your nib meets the screen, it kind of it, it kind of it kind of goes back into the pen. But the Apple Pencil does not do that. It really fits the mold of a pencil. You know, a pencil when you write on it, it really has no type of give or, or leeway. And that is exactly how it feels. It feels like a pencil. It really does, and it performed well you know low pressure mid pressure high pressure everything i i tried to throw at it it performed well no type of uh, visible lag no type of uh, jittery lines to it it's a good pencil it really is and i really did enjoy myself drawing with this pencil now the apps now i use procreate i use clip studio paint and both of these drawing software or drawing programs ran flawlessly they ran flawlessly all of those things that i was talking about with the s7 and clip studio paint and you know it, it's kind of buggy a little bit not really stable throw that out the window when you when you're using the ipad pro it's very stable it's very stable and it, it's kind of hard to to really put into words but it doesn't feel like it's gonna crash at any moment it's not jittery it's not laggy it's none of that it, the programs, they just work. They're very well optimized for the iPad Pro. Now, when you go over to the S7 side, um, when using Clip Studio Paint, it's very, I don't wanna say very buggy because it's not very buggy. It's just not stable enough. Uh, it's kind of jittery. You have um, glitches where the canvas will just kind of move out the way. Um, you have marks 
on the screen where it's reading my palm. Clip Studio Paint is not very well optimized for the S7 Plus. And I really think that's all, all it is to it. I think a lot of these programs optimize things for the iPad versus Android because it's just easier to do so. And, you know, I understand the reason why, but it's just not very well optimized for the S7. And so you get those little, those little lags, those little glitches and, and stuff like that. So it just comes with the territory. So let's get into the cons of the iPad Pro. And there's not a lot, but there are two cons, right? So one con is the Apple Pencil uses Bluetooth to connect to it. This is a major design flaw, in my opinion, uh, simply because uh, Bluetooth is very finicky. We all have Bluetooth devices in our homes right now, as y'all looking at this video, that no longer connect. For whatever reason, the Bluetooth receiver just stopped working. Now, this very thing happened. This very thing happened to my cousin. He had had the iPad Pro for about two weeks and the pencil just stopped working. Um, he troubleshooted it, went on YouTube, uh, called uh, Apple Care, whatever the Apple people call, uh, called them and set an appointment to go to the Apple store. And basically he had to buy a whole nother Apple pencil. And so I thought that was very weird that Apple chose to only connect the the pencil through Bluetooth because you know if you look at Wildcom and they're the leader of um, just drawing tablets they they don't even use Bluetooth right and if you look at the S7 the S Pen it has Bluetooth it can connect through Bluetooth uh, to do gestures and other little gimmicky type things but as far as writing and drawing and just the, the whole functionality of the S Pen is not hindered by Bluetooth. And so I, I just couldn't understand why they chose to use Bluetooth only. Now, granted, I'm not a software engineer. I'm not a hardware engineer. I'm, I'm just a, um, a artist on YouTube, right? But for me, that was a major flaw because if it stops working, then you're out of $150. And that is exactly what happened in my cousin's case. Now, the other flaw, and it's not really a flaw, but we're gonna call it a flaw. The other flaw or kind of a trade-off, that's it. I would say trade-off. Not really a flaw, but it's a trade-off. Uh, the Apple Pencil, the, the design of it is like a pencil. So it does not, on the nib, on the tip of the pencil, it does not give, it's very sturdy, it's very hard. And so if you are a, if you are heavy handed like I am, uh, when you draw, you know, something is gonna have to give. And when I was drawing on it, I saw the screen flex a little bit. You know, don't act, don't tell my cousin I said that. Just keep that, keep that between me and you, okay? <laughs> you know. The, the screen is fine, you know, everything is fine, but I did see it flex just a little bit. It, it flex just a little bit. So for longevity wise, you know, if you're heavy handed like I am, for longevity wise, you know, I, I, I don't know how that is gonna work out as far as the screen. You know, you may have to replace your screen, you may have to buy a whole nother one. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm just reporting it, but it, the screen did flex a little bit just simply because the pencil, you know, the pencil is a sturdy pencil uh, and I'm heavy handed. So that's just, it's just something to, to watch out for. But all in all, I enjoy myself. I enjoy my time drawing with the iPad Pro. I really did. The pencil, although it's connected by Bluetooth, it worked fine. The second pencil, it worked fine. And I had no problems with it. It felt good drawing with it. It registered all of my lines, all of my strokes. It registered fine. The apps ran like butter, smooth, no jitters, no glitches. And now that I have experienced drawing on the iPad Pro, I see why 
people just rather draw on the iPad Pro. There's a lot of artists who just, they don't have a Wildcom, um, they don't have XVPN. That iPad is, they just strictly iPad artists. That's all they use. I understand it. I understand it. It is a good drawing tablet. And that's why the iPad Pro is going to win versus the Samsung Tab S7 Plus. But anyway, I hope y'all got some type of value out of this video today. If you would, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holler at y'all next time. Believe that.